Okay. Good evening. Good evening, Mister. How are you? I'm not good today. What happened? Just feeling not good. Uh, you're like stressed out or like yeah. you're sick. Or... What about uh, you? Um, I'm just doing normally. I I got no no stuff to do. I'm kind of bored. Yeah, I know. Oh, it's bored. Yeah, I know. It's just That's good as by well. myself. Yeah. All right. So I just want to ask you a question. Like, you know, if like someone were to like uh go to others like abroad to study there, like example, you in tenth grade right now, and you want to start eleventh grade there. Do you do the school require your like your past uh, GPA score or your current like uh by what by what I mean by past is that your grade ten so you do they look in within your grade nine your grade eight grade seven or so on do they look yeah. at that or just only grade they might they might look at that because the the education system in Cambodia and the other country is not the same so they might need the uh, to check and see if it ends and if if they think that oh maybe um you are not high enough then uh, even you passed good grades but if they they do all the evaluation and then you find that you might need to do grade 10 again then you might need to do grade 10 again so so basically like studying grade 10 there again or yeah yeah normally know. like that so it depends on your English and also they might test as well. Like um if you can pass the test and and they, they are they're happy to let you in, then you can just jump into grade eleven. If not, then you have to do grade ten again. I think it depends on the school policy, you know, it's not the same. Even in the in Australia, in um it's always a different system. So even their education is not difficult, like not so strict, then you might can mm -hmm. can 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 move and and, and study. <clears throat> it depends on, on which school that you want to go and how popular is it, how high is it, like how good is it. So it's also yeah. all the it's just a matter of the of their system and their policy, you know. Yeah. And that is not university. That is this like high school or colleagues. I don't know. I don't know what do they call in their country, but in in our system, if you want to go to university, at least you need to pass, or you fail grade twelve. Okay. Hey, but like if you fail grade twelve, then you have to repeat grade twelve. You're not allowed to go to a university. Do you? No. If if you if you if you fail, then you office officially fail. Then you can do some kind of SOS. SOS a decree or something like that. You can? In Cambodia, I think you can. Because SOS SOS a, SOS a decree is um it took like I think it's gonna take um three years, two years, I don't know, I'm not sure, but this is like three years? Maybe, maybe two or three years, I guess. So basically, like two years studying to pass grade twelve. No, not not about passing. They don't care about pass grade twelve anymore. It's a, oh. de a degree we call association degrees. Oh. Maybe yeah. two year or three year. I don't know, but they in Cambodia they can do that. But you need to be like pass or fails. If you pass, yeah. you can go straight to, to university like to uh, study BA bachelor degree and. Start from year one and 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 go on. If you are failed, then you have to do. If you don't want to to pass the grade twelve, then you you can do like ASOS age, as uh, degree. Then and after that, you can continue to bachelor degree. So it sound like that same kind of, but I'm not sure in other countries. I see. Oh, in Cambodia is like that. Not that strict. Why do you ask the question? Someone asked you or? No, I'm just curious. 
I, I'm just curious. Folks. I, I don't want to stay here anymore. <laughs> I don't want to stay here anymore. It's so boring here. Yeah. You cannot fail. Yeah. I was planning to, like, I got, like, school in mind, but I don't know their requirements. So that's why. In, in Cambodia, you mean? No, I in, in oversee in abroad. Oh, you want to apply for that? Yeah, but I don't know about their requirements. I can always check with them. I mean, which, um, which school and then, and I'm which trying country? to go for school in like in Australia, but like my school is American school, so we have different programs compared to an Australian school. Mm -hmm. So then I have to do another one. Yeah. Yeah, normally just yeah. I told you that it depends on the school. Some school they need you to do something. They test or a little bit study of something that they require. Then after that you can... Normally high school, I think um, more of the highest school in, in other country like Canada, Australia, then they might need, need you to do it again. For example, like if you have finished the 10, then they might want you to do it from the good 10. Three, what 10? Yeah. Say, say again, three, what? You say three, something, 10? No, like if, if you want to pursue your high school there and you already finished yeah. your 10 here, then some yeah. school they might need you to do from good 10 again. Oh, so you repeat again? Yeah, it depends. Some school like that, they want you to do it like that. Oh, they even though your score is, it's... Yeah, if you have, it... if you got a good good GPA, good score from the, like, good local school, like, good international school, I'm not sure about your school, but if if that is acceptable for them, then they, they can let you in. So then you don't have to repeat grade 10 again? Yeah, yeah, you don't need to repeat it. Ah. Uh... Yes. You want to go to Australia or Canada? Well, I have like family members there in Canada. Oh. I don't know about the requirements. The main thing is that I don't know about the requirements. Mm. You yeah. can check the school, like which which school that that um their kids go into that school. Okay. Now just check online is also possible. Just email them, ask straight ahead, like with a good any question you can ask with them. Canada is like yeah. Kind of is. difficult to. Yeah, also strict a little bit, and the so, weather is not. It's good. too cold. Yeah, too cold. When it's cold, it and it crazy, and it takes uh, a long time. Almost like one season cold, one season summer, and something like that. I'm not yeah. sure, but. But the government spent billions of dollars during the cold seasons. A lot of yeah. money. Otherwise, Canada will be the rich country. But they spend a lot of money just to maintain everything during the cold season. Is it like difficult just to apply for a Canadian school? No, I think it's not really. If you are good enough, then you can try. Mm. Just try first. If not, we yeah. can go to Australia, you can go to other countries, also good. Australia also one of the good places to go. Yeah, I see. Big countries. It's somewhere a little bit hot, but it's fine. Mm. I see, yeah. Cambodian live there a lot as well. 
Say again. I mean, Cambodian also live in a lot in, in Australia and Canada. Yeah, it's like they have good, they have good like good job opportunities and Mm -hmm. education stuff. Yeah. All right. What's our plan today? Plan today, I want you to read the news. Hey, what? The news about the Funan Dejo Connect project. Yeah. Want me to read that? Yeah. Oh. You have to read like different news from different source so that um You got any news at hand? I can share the screen so that you can read it from here. Okay. My internet is so slow today, I have no idea what is happening. Okay, I think we got one from Khmer Times. So you can read this one first. All right. So this is the newest on um, August, 6, August 6, yeah. So it's yeah. like one day after the... Yeah, and after the celebration. Now. Yeah. Yeah. So Sovereign's Waterways Cambodia launches historic Funan Dejo Canal project. So mm -hmm. that big title over there, <clears throat> and <clears throat> you can read down here. Is it big enough for uh, you, or I need to? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah I can see. I can see. You know, so in a grand ceremony, radiate, radiating with per, per patriotism <clears throat> and national unity, Cambodia embark on a on the construction of the historic Funan Techo Canal yesterday. The, the momentous event saw an overwhelming turnout with citizens from various parts of the country coming together to celebrate this milestone. Despite the blazing sun, thousands gathered in Gien Swai district of Gandal province to witness this outstanding event, uh, highlighting the project profound significance, uh, significance, significance to the nation. It is worth noting that yesterday marks the 72th, 72th birthday of Senate President Hun Sen, who is a prime minister, proposed the project in 2021. At exactly 9.09 a.m. yesterday, Prime Minister Hun Manet and First Lady Pit Chan Moni together pushed the button to open the construction site, beginning the construction of the mega project, which has been described as one of the biggest projects in history of modern Cambodia. Almost simultaneously, drumming, a uh, gong playing, and joyful cheers were heard from place across the country as people of all ages and from all walks of life joined the celebration, especially since the government had announced yesterday as a as the public holiday. Oh, it's public. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, in Phnom Penh and Kandal province, joy, joyous concert and art performance were performed in public as a part of grand celebration. In the in the evening, the sky was lit up by thousands of fireworks to celebrate this special occasion. Oh, they added into a public vacation. Yeah, yeah, they put it like a public holiday, one day. Oh, one day. Yeah. Sad. So, Mr. Hun Manet, preside, preside or preside? Presided. Presided over the ceremony, delivering an inspiring speech that highlighted the canal's symbol, symbolic and practical, practical significance. Today, as we embark on the Funan Techo Canal 
project, we are not just building a canal. We are crafting a future that honors our heritage and tell wait, wait. Okay, I'm back. Um we are crafting oh we are crafting a future that honors our heritage and celebrate our unity. This event is a testament uh, to share our no to our shared commitments to progress and cultural pride, he said. Through the construction of the historical canal, we are showing a sense of patriotism and national unity. The premier stated, it is also obvious evidence that Cambodia is characterized by peace, unity, and freedom to decide her own destiny. He added that while the canal is projected to be to benefit the kingdom economically, it will also raise the country's independence and self-alignment as a sovereign state. The Funan Techo Canal will promote Cambodia's economic attack are automatic an auto, no autonomy yeah at, autonomy 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 through the strengthening the country's independence and self reliance in terms of waterway transportation which will in turn facilitate facilitate or oh, facilitate trade flows he said the canals will uh, the canal will also become an effective water control system which will operate more potential for areas along the waterways, including the greater Mekong, the lower Mekong, and the Basak River Group, which will bring developments opportunities, especially in sectors such as manufacturing, agriculture, logistic, logistic, and real estate. Mr. Hunmanet said that and said the Funan Techo Canal symbolized the past glory and greatness of the Khmer civilization, or the Khmer civilization, especially the Funan Empire. Okay, the first recognized procedures of modern, of modern Cambodia. Funan was an ancient kingdom in Southeast Asia. This kingdom exists from the first to the seventh century CE. According to the Chinese ancient text, Funan is the glorious one of the South, having been enriched by farming and what? Merchantilism? Mm -hmm. Merchantilism? The Premier said, through the favorable waterway, the Funan Empire trades with China and and even with the Roman with even the Roman Empire, he said. If that canals, if that canal could benefit our ancestors two thousand years ago, it will also benefit benefit us today. Our ancestors would have been absolutely delighted to see what we achieved today. Mister Hun Manet said, "It is unfortunate that the history of Cambodia saw many downfalls of empires and kingdoms due to internal friction and war." Yes, I do believe that. Uh, we have known the history, and we must never let that happen to our country again. He added, "Internal division turned turned our once great my empire from the time of the Funan Kingdom to the Mohan of Ko era into a landmark by war and destruction. Our territory became known for its for its division and tears rather than for its proud civilization. Uh, we almost." lost the very name of our country from the world map. He added, this beautiful land was reduced to ruins under the genocidal regime of Popan. Many pa pa patriotic or oh, patriotic dignitaries and heroes sacrificed their lives to seek peace. It was only through their sacrifice that we were able to es escape the Abyss of Death on January 7th, 1979, signed this Paris Peace Agreement on October 23rd, 1991, and achieved complete peace on December 29th, 1998, through the win-win policy. Ah, oh, politics. Politics, yeah. Yes, yeah.
Mr. Hon Mr. Honmanet added, the blood and tears of our people were shed on this to uh, to tormented land because of war. We must remember this historical lesson when the Khmer people lost or lose their unity and national spirit and do not up uphold national interests. They suffer disaster and hardship. Converse conversely, we stand unity, uh, we stand united with a strong sense of nationalism. We will always be strong, prosperous, and glorious. The Funan Techo Canal, once completed, is accept, accepted, uh, expected to serve as a crucial waterway, enhancing the country's infrastructure and contributing the to economic growth. Wait, but like the Funan Techo Canal, like it costs, you know, lands, farming, and people's like uh, how you say this? People like territory to, you know, back back something like that. Like it ruins. What is like, it? Will it? The the Funan Techo Canal project. It, I feel like it will impact the, like the population, like by what I mean is like territory land mm -hmm. for farming, mm -hmm. for doing real estate and etc. Yeah. Will it or will it not? It will. Yeah, it will. And that is that's why I want you to read and then you can think about it. Like compare all like everything and then you can like use your common sense to find out yourself. Okay. The Funan Techo Canal stretches 180 kilometers standing uh, starting from Prek Takao of the Mekong River, passing through Prek Ta'ai of the Basak River, then into Prek Tahing of the Be Basak River in Koh Thom district, and, and extending to Ke Province. This waterway is Traverses four provinces: Kandal, Takao, Kampot, and Kat, serving a total population of one point six million people living along its bank. The canal is a hundred meters wide upstream and narrow into eighty meters downstream, with a depth of five point four meters, including navigational depth of four point seven meters and safety mar margin of zero point seven meters. It accommodates two lanes for safe passage of vessel in both directions. The project also en encompasses the construction of three waterway dams, 11 bridge and 208 kilometer sidewalk, navigation rates and other essential cross river infrastructure with an estimated cost of $1.7 billion. Wow. Yeah. A lot of money. Mm -hmm. The construction is planned under a BOC, Built Operate Transfer, contract that is expected to take about four years to complete. Despite continuous objection and oppression, expression of concern from external parties, the Funan Taito Canal has undeniably united the Cambodian nation with a profound sense of hatred. Patriotism, like patriotism, oh, it's so hard to pronounce. Uh, patriotism, patriotism, yeah. and prior, prior is it prior, prioritization kind of national prior, interest of national interest, an occurrence seldom seen in Cambodia's modern history, perhaps not since the construction of Independence Monument. Since the project announcement, Vietnam, Cambodia's neighbor, has frequently expressed concern over the canal's environment impact on the Mekong Delta. More recently, several foreign entities have raised alarm about the canal's potential to produce or uh, to boost Chinese naval power in the region. Okay, citing the likelihood of the Chinese company being contracted for its con construction. However, the Cambodian government has consistently clarified that Funan Techo Canal will neither significantly impact the region nor, fa nor facilitate nor facilitate Chinese military operation. Oh, so then they don't like allow any Chinese military operation in there. No, it's like a kind of Vietnamese believe that if they have the canals, then it means Chinese military could come to Cambodia. 
So it will be danger their countries, which Vietnam, Vietnam, um, Vietnam government doesn't want it to happen. So they yeah. also make this kind of excuses that the if the canal is ready, then Chinese military will come to Cambodia and have the China like military base or something in Cambodia. Then we might go to war with them or like threat threatening their country, something like that, because of Chinese and Vietnam are the enemy and we also like yeah, yeah. Enemy, kind of in the history. Yeah. And now it's still the kind of enemy. I mean the two mm -hmm. countries still not really like each other. So this Wait, is what they, they the, propose. The Cambodians are also enemies with China? With Vietnamese? Think... Not Chinese. Oh the Vietnamese? Yeah. Oh, okay, because of past history. Oh, but then there's gonna be Chinese uh investors. Yeah, it's gonna Chinese be invest investor, yeah. They they said Chinese investor like forty nine percent or something. Before oh, it was more than that, but now it is that like only forty nine percent. Fifty one percent is of the stake holder is like a Cambodian investor or something, I don't know. Oh, okay. All right, then. Um, however, the Cambodian government has consistently clarified that Phuong Thai Chau Canal will neither significant impact the region nor facilitate Chinese military operation and act contrary to the nation's construct constitution. Both Senate President Hun Sen and Prime Minister Hun Manet uh, reaffirmed last week that the mega project will proceed as planned. Okay. Over the past month, hundreds of institutions and organizations have issued statements in support of Funan Techo Canal. Simultaneously, hundreds of thousands of Cambodians have shown their approval online and social media platforms. Not not notably, even Senator and Son Chai, a veteran politician from the opposition Khmer World Party, have expressed their support for the project. The support for the canal's project at intensify after Hun Sen made a decisive state in April. Okay, then the No, no. 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 No, Ten years, ten years. Where's ten years? Where is it? Um, there's a word ten, called ten. Ten year. During ten years. Ten year as a kingdom. Premier. Ah. As a kingdom's premier, Cambodia is not inferior to Vietnam. He declared while presiding over a gala dinner hosted by a Cambodian Ognya Association. Okay. Hun Sen has never made a wrong decision in the past 47 years. Okay. Cambodia is not inferior to allow Chinese troops to deploy on its territory, and Cambodia knows how to protect its, its interests. Vietnam does not need to care. Okay. He added that he did not encourage animosity and animosity towards the Vietnamese by but urge mutual respect. Vietnam has built many dams to protect their crops which have impacted Cambodia. I hope Vietnam will understand the construction of the Funan Techo Canal. He said, I will stand with the royal government, I support the royal government and I will mobilize those who have the resources to invest for profit. Rest assured, this canal will not only be a source of pride for our nation, but also profitable avenues for the Cambodian people. Mr. Hun said, em empathic uh, statement appears to have ignited a wave of pa patriotism, leading many Cambodian citizens to announce their intention to establish a crowdfunding initiative to support the canal's construction. The sen sentiment grew so strong that Mr. Hun Manet had to step in, expressing uh, appreciation for his fellow co countrymen 
countrymen's enthusiasm by clarifying that the government does not see the necessity necessity of collecting public fund for the project. Oh, okay. Despite obvious benefit, the project will bring to the nation and people. Some who reside in the areas where the canal will be built have expressed concern about the construction impact on their lives. I am afraid I will lose my home and farm. Hin Siup, a 50-year-old farmer, a farmer in Kandal province, told Khmer Thai. My farm is so small that I am afraid I will not receive any compensation, said Nong Van, Nong Van Chandu, another 44-year-old another farmer. However, back in May, Sun Jan Tol, Deputy Prime Minister and First Vice President of the Council for the Development of Cambodia, CDC, said that multiple ministries are dealing with this issue. Regarding the impact of Funan Techo Canal on residents, the Ministry of Public Work and Transport has submitted all related documents, including maps, to the Ministry of Economics and Finance, the body responsible for the compens compensating re residents in according with a law. This is similar to what was implanted for the Phnom Penh Sinoville Express Expressway and Phnom Penh Bavut Expressway project. He said adding to that to the total value of the compensation is still being evaluated. Each project has its own commitments, uh, committees, committee, committees to settle this issue. I don't have the answer to the question of how much, but the Ministry of Economic and Finance will come up with a number by estimating the price of real estate based on the size and land area. Yeah, so it seemed like not clear, okay? Yeah, they're not clear. And so it is they don't know, like... clear. And then they uh doing the projects, like open the project. Yeah. And they estimate $1.7 billion. And they yeah. don't have any clear, like how much they're going to pay yeah. for the compensation to the, the Chinese. Yeah, no, the, to the people who are going to lose their family, I mean, lose their land, lose their house, something like that. Ah, okay. I don't know. So it's like, it's not clear. Oh. And, and they start the groundbreaking ceremony for the canals during yeah. the rainy season. So what do you think? I feel like for for the rainy season, since it's rainy, so then the water just grows and it it's higher. But when it comes to like dry season, the water is gonna like uh what's what's that word? They're going like, down like less. Yeah, yeah, less. So then it's gonna be like a bit dangerous for like ships to go through because it's very low. Yeah, it's a good point. You see, just like me, only 5.4 matter and also yeah. only 4 something matter that um that the boat like or a ship can go. So I yeah, think so then only have it's like so a few... shallow. It's not yeah, that right. deep enough, but I... That's why I have no any common, but only some like question mark in my in my mind. Like why is that like... I don't see any kind of benefit that is going to be like should benefit to the to the nation and and all of those so um i think it's that's why i don't really want to want to see it and i i think uh yeah here you can see here only 4.5 meter yeah really meters, nice. and then only navigation depth is 4.7 meter so what you're gonna carry and how big is the kind of ship? Yeah, yeah. Go up and down and how much money that they they think they're gonna expect to spend on yeah. one time to carry things and then come back and then like that. And whether they have they have studied everything already about the road, what happened if they just doing the road instead of the canals or real way instead of canals whether they have enough data to analyze and everything but they don't have they don't show to the public so that is the one thing that is 
feel like I'm not really happy with it, but mm -hmm. I, I cannot do anything. It is like the people, they happy to do it. A lot of people, even though it's not happy, but they have to say I'm happy. Then, uh, yeah, then it's the things. But for me, I feel like it's not clear. Everything is not clear. Yeah. And it's going to be a lot of money, investment and everything. So I don't know what will happen. And we will so, see. <clears throat> but then like, what if since it's like 5.7 meters and the uh the size of the ship is what if the size of, size of the ship is like big and it gets stuck on the upstream is 100 and down is 80 80 meter yeah so yeah. so not that big you know 100 meter is not that big i think it depends on on the ship yeah that's why i don't know what kind of ship that they are going to use for yeah. transportation and then how much they will spend for each well, that, time they carry the export, like, yeah, exportation for the products and everything, how much. They have no data to show the public, like, oh, this is, um, this is the thing that we're gonna, like, compared to the road, it's gonna be, like, less, less expense. But they have no data, uh, they have, have no any reason to explain to the public, like, no transparencies at all, so... So I, I feel like it's not really the, and also they 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 start the project is so soon it's like, they want to, it's kind of rush for me you know, yeah yeah kind of rush. Oh, but like if you do it rush, you don't like know if it's good or not. Yeah. Like you don't you put time into it. Hmm. You you, you completely spend, spend enough time to study yeah. to do more research the impacts and everything. Yeah, yeah. then you just just do it blindly i mean like but they they said oh they have a lot of like uh phd people from yeah. different places like they they come and do the study for months and months and they they find out it's good it's it's good it's working so that yeah they do it i don't i don't i, I don't have any <laughs> idea but yeah. it's like crazy for me so yeah. Wow, it's just Cambodia. Yeah. This is also from um S Asia Forum. So you also say something about it as well, but uh yeah, you might read it more. Um like since they have to pay the city like the citizens uh territory like um... yeah, they, should, they should make it clear you know like how much for example like if they have the ownership like a really good like ownership of the land like how much for one meter squares or one house like if if they have to move their house then how much they have to have like the price range with Clear explanation so that people will not scare. Yeah. Oh, but then you have to you have to pay money to the like the Chinese investors too. You have to pay to Cambodian like citizen and the Chinese investor. Do you? No, no, like only like Chinese is they gonna spend money to invest, mm -hmm. build up. But they need to get something back. They need to get something back. Yeah, they they they're gonna make money and they're gonna control the canals for some years. I don't know. They also not make it clear like how long, mm -hmm. because Chinese mostly they do the that one is build, operate, and transfer. It mean they they build, they operate, they make profits after like fifty years. I don't know, like twenty years, thirty years, fifty years. Yeah. Of ninety nine years, we don't know. They not really make yeah. it clear. I don't know. I just I just give the example, and then they yeah. transfer it to the government, to Cambodian government. After that, after uh -huh. they make enough profit, it like.